Welcome back. Have I ever mentioned that I love my job? Um, I did get a notification saying that Fraps has been known to crash real D3D, so it advised me to use Microsoft Expression something to capture footage instead. But anyway, yeah, have I mentioned that I love my job? I'm playing this like two weeks before it's due to be released. Right, let's turn the music down to 16. Why 16? 11. Subtitles disabled. Sensitivity. Pass. Right, this is actually the very first time I've turned this on, so let's see how it runs. Set the field. Ambient occlusion. Ambient effects on cloth right hopefully should still oh okay um that's just made it 3d ah, that's yeah I, I i can't play it in 3d i don't have a 3d tv well i do have it no i don't i don't have a 3d tv okay fine twitch commands Oh yeah! If you're streaming it and stuff, Twitch can make it actually do things, like make a cat noise and stuff. Huh? What about escape, you map, use glow stick, use flare throw, sprint and shift, climb in space. Is that it? Guess so? Okay! Then let's jump right in. Um, so I'm guessing it's WAS the movement. Okay, great. I don't like... I don't like WAS because having my finger down on... My little finger down on shift is just... I don't know how people put up with that. It's really uncomfortable. Maybe it's because I have mutant, deformed, massively long fingers. I have pianist hands, basically. I have really long fingers. I have wide palms and long fingers. So that's probably the problem. Is this still loading or is it... Damn it, do I need to press something? No, I guess it's, it's still taking its time loading. But this is the first time I've booted it up, so you know it's understandable that it'd be getting to know the system. And maybe Fraps is making it go herp derp 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 herp de derp a derp. Right, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle ho uploading this. I mean, I know how I'm going to upload it. I'll, I'll do it while I'm visiting my mother next week. So I'm going to see my my daughter, and it's my kid sister's birthday, so I'm going up there for that. So I'll upload it using her um, connection whilst I'm there. But I don't know what YouTube's going to do because I'll be uploading it before the embargo is lifted. So I'm, I don't know if YouTube's going to flag it and give me problems for that. If I set it to private, past experience has taught me if I set it to private, it should be fine. Should. <laughs> oh my god, that was gorgeous. Ah, god, you've arrived. Yeah. Sarah, focus. We haven't much time at all. I turned that off. Busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Um, controls still just telling me that. Settings. I turned the um subtitles off. All right, thank you. Okay. Now, let's go. It's been some time now. Yeah, it's was to me. This move. place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Well, Sarah, this is certainly a nice looking game. Succeed. And it's running at oh, nice no. smooth 30. What's that? Prisoner 52 seems to be experienced visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. Hmm. Not sure how many recordings I'm going to make of this. I mean, right now I'm just going to do one. I know that much, but. Oh, Sarah, no matter where you go, there you are. How very um, trite. I've heard that expression before. Right, because I'm using the t traditional WAS setup. Have I ever told you I hate WAS setup? I probably won't be sprinting all that much. Just so you know. 
New Kipling Herald. New Kipling? Mid-Island Penitentiary hires new head physician. February 5th, 1907. Mid-Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer. Known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research, the city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such a talented and... Ah, passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Yeah, I clicked the mouse button, by the way, to progress that along. Cool. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how many recordings we're going to do with this overall, because if I remember correctly, it's one that's intended to only last, like, half an hour, 45 minutes or so per playthrough, with different stuff happening each time. So... Yeah. Stop doing that. Can I open the door? No. Guess not. Oh, I'm getting a lot of frame rate dips. I mean, it runs fine most of the time. The right to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. How many can I carry? Right. I have too many glow sticks. And I can't open this? Nope. Doesn't look that way. Zoom? Told me I could zoom. Is that for when I'm looking at stuff, maybe? Because I'm using the mouse. Middle mouse button and nothing's happening. Yes, yes, I know. Or maybe I have to use the glow stick. Maybe that's what it means. This is part of the tutorial. I do hope not. I hate stuff like that. I'm just going to carry on as is because I don't really need it right now. I can see perfectly fine with this. Or, uh, wait. Why did she just put her hand up then? Interesting. What's this? A dead Mui. Lovely. We are but one thread woven from the web of life. All things connect. All mm -hmm. things are bound. Really? Mid Island Hospital patient record file date April 4th, 1988 concerning patient 18. Ron. 13. 13. Ron. Am I patient 13? Can't jump. Okay, fine! I'll use the bleeding glow stick! Right. I've, I have! Stop telling me that number one uses the glow stick! I know, I've just done it! Hello. Right, fine, anyway. Where am I going? Oh. Magically opening doors. Yeah. Mid Island Hospital patient record file. Date March 4th, 1988. Concerning patient 13. Patient age 10 months old has been readmitted by her foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Oh. Okay. Careful, Sarah. The more you cut, the faster they see. The whole magically opening door thing. Yeah. Not the cleverest thing to have. Okay. Personally, I feel not the, the best thing to have in a game that's all about immersion. Or in a game genre that's all about immersion. That's the sort of thing that breaks immersion. And the fact that you have to use the glow stick. I like the trail of footsteps, though. That's interesting. Uh, you know. It's coming from behind me. Oh, hello. What's this? A nail. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, can I close doors behind me? Yes, I can. I can even push them. Alright. Ah, I have to close both. Sweet. Okay. Um. All right. Always turn left, I say. All right. Oh, right. The light's just flickering. Uh, oh, there's something red in there. So let's give that a look. I know what that is. By the way, for those who've never seen any of my Let's Play stuff before, I'm not the sort of person who plays one of these games and goes, oh, oh, oh. I play them out of interest. Billy, I, saw, I mean, I might get shocked by stuff. It happened 
several times when I was playing Tomb Raider, but I'm not one of those who gets freaked out and all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Billy, I saw someone down in the boiler room tonight. Uh, made me... Bastard made me nearly jump out of my skin. Ran off before I could get a good look at them. Though, nobody but me and Adam should be down there, so it better not be one of the orderlies. Adam and I, scoping out a spot to put the mirrors on one of them nurses. Just make sure people are doing their job and not screwing around in my boiler room. George. Hmm. Okay. Close that door. Right, now the emphasis on sound is good. The lack of overpowering music is good. Definitely good. Right, why did she just put her hand up? Let's find out. Is there something in here? No? Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. You know what? I'm going to run back. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Now that was good. Ah, what's this? Get down from there, Mog. Billy, I'm done with this hospital. I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. I saw something down in that bio room and one of the orderlies saw it too. It ain't right and I'm not staying here to find out its intentions, George. Now that was nice. It's like what fear used to do before they decided to shove Alma out of your every bleeding opportunity. Right, anyway, I'm gonna hop back here. Grab some more Stoglicks. There seem to be an infinite supply of them here, so I might as well, you know? It's the last one. Ish. Makes sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Oh, hello. Hmm. Hmm. Seems to be stalking me. Right, is there anything in here? Since I have the glow stick out now. Nope, it doesn't move that way. Okay. Oh, there's another one of those magical thingy my bobs. Open it. Okay. Can't see anything. No, I already opened that, didn't I? I already went in there. Eh. Anything in here? Dead radiator. Yeah, but I, I mentioned that. She's Cat! Stop it! I know you do it on purpose, you little beast. But I was talking in one of my previous recordings, actually, about how, um... Alien Isolation, they put a lot of emphasis on the the music in that game during a talk about the sound and um, to be honest that really bothers me. Games like this shouldn't be about music, they should be about incidental sounds and that there are a lot there's a lot less of the music here which is good because it should be more about because you don't need music to build atmosphere Seriously, you don't. If you do, then you're you're really bad at sound design. And that cat is really starting to get on my bloody nerves. Oi! Hello, what's that? Picture of a building? A house, maybe? Hell have I know. Anyway. Ooh. Cool. So. When... That thing comes back after me again. Use a flare and I should get rid of it, right? Can I use that? No. Hmm. Right, he's doing this on purpose now. He's climbing up on things just to knock stuff down. I know full well he does it on purpose because I've seen him do it. I've seen him look at things and be like, hmm, I want to knock that on the floor. So there was this time he was laying on top of my uh, my Virgin Plus box. Uh, you know, it's a TV thing. It's what I got my TV through. I get I have Virgin Media rather than Sky. I think Sky, but not Sky. Anyway, he was laying on top of that, probably because it gets warm and stuff. Hello? And um, he looked at me because I just put the remote control down. I'll tell you in a moment. Mid-Island Hospital patient record file. Date February 24th, 1859. Concerning patient 12A. Dr. Watkins recommended removal of all possessions from patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. Uh, why is the... You should put the... Always put quotation marks. Outside of a period. 
patient became violent during extraction. She seemed particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. Fair enough. Anyway, he saw me put the, um, watch him above down, the, same picture again, the, um, the remote control down, looked at it, looked at me, and then slowly slid off the, slowly slid off the, the virgin box. And Mid Island Hospital patient record final date April 9th, 1860. What oh, is this going on in April? Concerning patient 06B, Miss Eunice Goodman gave patient a stuffed bear as a toy without permission from patient's doctor. Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was reassigned away from the child's ward until further notice. And he, um, he sort of slid down off it, wandered over to me all casual like. Climbed up on the, the the sofa, lay down next to me, sort of wiggled a little bit and slowly slid onto my lap until he was nice and comfy and then he slowly slid down to the side beside the um on the other side of me. And then sort of stretched a little bit, moved up onto the arm of the sofa, slowly slid himself towards the, the remote that was on the, the coffee table next to the sofa. Uh, knocked the remote down real casual like you know like it was totally an accident he just happened to be moving in that direction and just happened to knock it then he slowly slithered down onto the ground and yeah sure but I'm telling the story then slid down onto the floor looked at the remote control licked himself then wandered back over to the um, Virgin Plus box Mid Island Hospital, patient record file, date April, again, April 9th, the stuffed, uh, right, uh, April 9th, 1860, concerning patient 06B. The stuffed bear, whom the patient refers to as her beloved, has been placed in quarantine. Hmm. The doctor recommends incineration as it come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. No, none of us had the heart to burn it, the stuffed animal, though I guess Miss Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. Okay. Random. Fan. It's not really something you want. Are these mental patients or is this like... I thought this was a sanitarium. Oh, hey, dude. Seems not. Hmm. Maybe not a sanitarium after all. Hmm. So, but then again, they, does it say that they're also acting kind of crazy? Okay. But it said about pox and stuff. Disease and people acting crazy? What was that? So there's a disease there was a disease here and the people were acting really really weird and mental. Hmm, fair enough. Ah. Okay. I must go in this one first, even though the other one opened and was quite clearly inviting me in. It's the same picture again. Is that just lazy design on their part, using the same picture over and over, or is it somehow important? Is it Sarah's home, perhaps? A building that's important to her in some way? Could be. Could well be. Anyway. I found all the remnants. Oh, Alright, some of the flare. Okay. Right. Head all the way back here. Grab some more glow sticks. Might as well since I have the uh, infinite spawn of them, right? That's a long ass way to go, but hey. More glow sticks is more glow sticks. What was that sound? Don't know of. Sounded like a thing. Right, if I press the button again, nope. Okay. More glow sticks. Now let's go all the way back. All the way back. Long ass way. So I wonder if this is is still procedurally generated, will the layout be the same the next time I play this? Is this part like scripted 
protection or something, maybe. Because... Don't know. I suppose we'll find out, won't I? <laughs> Weirdness. This is too much. Weirdness of the nurse. Weird of the nurse. So I have all the remnants. So... Okay, there was nothing in that. Alright, fair enough. Um... So... How am I going to get out of here then? Is it because this broke? Nope. Guess I'm going to have to go back. <coughs> Can't go through there. Oh, I can't jump, can I? Wait, I'm trapped now. I'm trapped. Let me out. I'm trapped. I can't believe this. I'm trapped behind a bleeding... It did say there was a jump, right? Climb is... Right. Oh, come on. Seriously? Trapped behind a bleeding... Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! Trapped behind a... Well, it's not good, is it? Fine, let's use a flare then, see what that does, if anything. Will it let me pass this? No, it bleeding won't. I can't believe this, I'm trapped behind it! Settings menu. Quit to title. All progress since last save will be lost. When was the last save? What's that? Is that my battery life? Is, oh, it's just the thing. Oh, come on! Wait a minute. Give me a thing. Come on, let me... Right, I guess I'm quitting to title then. Well, that certainly put a damper on everything, didn't it? Well, let's see what happens. Is it going to take a, a thousand years to reload again? Am I going to, how? When? I don't know. Even know when it saved. It didn't give me any indication, or at least I didn't see any obvious indication of saving. But seriously, I was trapped. Pardon my expression, but I was trapped behind a fucking IV stand, of all things. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. That's ridiculous. Th that has to be some kind of bug, right? Cause I, it didn't seem to... It wasn't letting me do anything. I was just stuck behind it. Oh, well. Let's just hope it's uh, it was a one-time thing and it won't go happening again. Right, where am I? I don't know, I'm going to get this black screen for a bit now. Is it going to put me right back at the beginning? Please tell me I'm not going to be right back at the very beginning. That would be the icing on the bloody cake, that would. This, see, this is why I hate checkpoints. This is precisely why I hate checkpoints. Things like this, that you have no control over. If something goes wrong, you're just... Oh, the idea of having no kind of control over when and where a game saves. Checkpoints should only ever be used as something to restore, to, um, uh, restore. Um, oh, what's the bloody word I'm looking for? This is, that's throwing me right off. Um, not, restore. not fucking restore! Should only be ever used to back up an existing save system, a manual save system. It should be used to enhance that. I can't remember the bloody word, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Enhance. Along those sort of lines. I'm sorry, but that has really fucking annoyed me. It has. It's put me right back at the beginning, hasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it has. 
Ah, right, let's do this again then. All right, no, maybe not right back at the very beginning. Wow, it, it allowed me to go past the first bit of speaking. Now the game's frozen on me. Come on. Come on. Hello. Thank you. Right, I've already read all of this, so you can sod off. back upstairs. There was something upstairs, wasn't there? Oh, let's go get that again. Is there anything there that I... No. Did I... Is there anything down here that it decided that I hadn't already... You know, it didn't save the fact that I picked it up or something? Yeah, it didn't even save that. Seriously? <sighs> See, now this is why I call my, um series fails rather than plays because I'm notorious for getting really fucking annoying bugs like that. Which I'm not calling a bug, I'm calling that just flat out shoddy design. We are but one from the web of life. Something that would be easily solved by giving me the ability to fucking jump. Yes, I'm in a really fucking bad mood. If you have a problem with harsh language, which I usually avoid, by the way, you should not be watching Let's Play of an M-rated fucking game, should you, you muppet? Right, now then, let's get on with this. Yeah, grab that, because we've done all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, get on with it. <gasps> really? Cut what? Exactly. Right, it, yes, it is developing. It does seem to be. Oh, yeah, there was a, a bit that I didn't go to, wasn't there? Right back at the. Seriously? Thank you. A patient, aged seven years, has been experiencing a fear of monsters in her room at night. A night shift nurse consoled the patient by reaffirming it was only in her imagination. The patient subsequently began exhibiting uncontrollable violence towards herself and staff members. And the game's just frozen. No. The patient has been restrained and transported to solitary confinement. Guess I'm going to read every have to read everything again because it's changed. By how much? Why does it keep freezing? Adam, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me and it then disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says it was I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm getting a transfer request. George. Well, I suppose you get to technically see two um, sessions of this then. Well, that's interesting at least. You know, it gives you different things each time. Yeah, this is staying the same basic layout, but the random events and stuff are different, aren't they? Hey, Baylor. Anything in here? No. Anything in there? No. Hey, Baylor. What you doing? What you doing? Incident report. File date February 16th, 1939. Concerning patient 279. Patient reported seeing shadowy figures in his room at night. Staff have been advised to indulge patient in his delusions in order to avoid the aggressive behaviour observed in patient 15. Patient remains in his room under mild observation. Yeah. Let's find all the remnants. Uh, and now that I remember that I can actually go back, uh, or at least I have to go back because there was another passageway that I haven't explored yet, I won't bother running all the way back several times to get the stuff. Hello! Oh, hello. That's new. Hmm. You see, I can move that! Yes, you can push that out of the way. Yes, yeah, so I can push a bookshelf out of the way. Part of the, partly out of the way. Yeah, did really get under my bloody skin, that did. Oh, found a glow stick. Fair enough. I don't have any flares yet, though. Hello. 
Oh, I never mind. I thought there was something pinned to the end of the bed for a moment there. Yep. Oh, this is a new type of room. This looks like some kind of observation room, perhaps. Hmm. Damn. Anything? No. Doesn't seem like I can read that. Oh, what's in here? Too many glow sticks. Does that mean I can come? Ah! Oh. It's not going to let me come back and get it later. Then again, I don't need it. I have my infinite supply at the um, the beginning, don't I? So is it still going to give me the dead end? At the end. Mid Island Hospital patient record file, date April 9th, 1860, concerning patient 06B. The stuffed bear whom the patient refers to as her beloved has been placed in court. Oh, yeah, I got, we got that one last time. Okay, fair enough. So, it's not everything that's new then. You do get some repetition. Oh, hello. Mm. Ah, Dr. It. Mercer. They reveal the sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. Uh -huh. Nurse Foster has complained that R.W. William Farish. Farish? Farish. Disappears for hours at a time during shifts, and when he finally shows up, his hands and the knees of his pants are so dirty as though he's been out digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought the matter should be escalated to you, Percy. Hmm. Intriguing. Too many glow sticks. Why is it giving me millions of glow sticks? I don't have any flares yet. Give me a flare. I need flares. I need flares to do battle. Lots of medicine rooms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know you're trying to weird us out and stuffs. Aha. Will this finally be uh, another glow stick that I can actually use? Can actually take even. Open. Ah, flares! Finally. Now it gives me a flare. Hmm. No, I thought that was another one I could. Then you made job and eyes then. Alright, don't go in the corner this time and get trapped. Okay, that was random. Cool. Okay, so this is the end then. No, not coming back at me. Okay. Or is it? No? Okay. Cool. Matt, nah, let's go back down this way. I know there's somebody here. We've explored all this already and the game has just frozen on me. Again. Come on. That, they moths. Yeah, they're moths. Moths! Grand moths! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Shut up, Cooey. Yeah, 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 we can hear you. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Might as well, you know, get a brand new one. And then, uh. And then, uh, uh. Oh, I only have one um, thingy bob this time, though. One, um, one flare. Right, it's this way that I haven't been yet, isn't it? Yes. I have all the remnants, good. Okay. Progress! Finally! <gasps> oh, calm down. It's just a chair falling over or something. I mean, I imagine if I was in the middle of this, it would be a hell of a lot creepier. History of New Kipling. The Puritan Church of New Kipling pronounced that a dark time had engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear for their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church in town, el elders instated mandatory church Attendance laws. Yeah, because that'll make things better. Making you go to church and hear all the horror stories. You can't logic. Ah, stairs. Okay. I want to finish exploring this floor first, though. Because that's the way I work, baby. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I work, baby, uh-huh, oh, okay, fair enough. Now there. Uh. Okay. Right then. I'm going to get myself a new... I closed that, didn't I, yeah. 
I'm gonna get myself a new hard drive, by the way. I've been looking, and it's, you can get one terabyte hard drives now for like less than forty quid. You can, hell, you can get two terabyte hard drives for less than sixty. So I'm just struggling to decide: do I want a one terabyte, which I can probably get next week, or do I want to wait a week longer to get a two terabyte, which um, would obviously be efficiency and stuff. Sweet. How many can I get, dude? First aid. There we are. Cool. Oh, what's that noise? Sounds like running water. Ah, it is running water. It is running water. Whoa! Ah, the boiler room. Can I open that? Apparently not. Okay. Said they saw things in the boiler room, so I'm going to go upstairs first because I have a feeling like the boiler room is going to be you know, like the way the where the shears goes down, the shears dangle, and that's where I need to go to progress and stuff. So I'm going to have a look around upstairs first when the game stops regenerating the new map and stuff, isn't it? Fairly smooth. So it's just problems with. Yep, what did I tell you? Basement is where all the shears is gonna go. D diz, the shizzle of the dizzle. Okay, why was it? Oh, it's just the door then. Fair enough. I thought it was like letting me in interact with the light or something, but only from a weird angle. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go downstairs. Okay, maybe I am gonna be running a fair bit then. It's more than I expected, considering that I, um... Why did you just shake the... What you do? Ah, what's that? Billy! I saw someone down in the bio room tonight. Ah, yeah, I saw that one already. Come on. I know there's somebody here. Yeah, you were, you were here. So, you know. Just saying. Alright, there's nobody... Nothing down here, right? Nope. Hmm. I mean, I'd probably be saying things like that too. That's interesting. Are they cobwebs? Yeah, I think they're cobwebs, aren't they? For a moment there, I thought they were like particle matter, but no, no, they're definitely cobwebs. No, I thought I saw something moving behind me. Nope, that's locked. Okay. Deeper we go. More moths. Is there anybody in there? More grand moffmas. Mon moffmas. Yes. Mm, nope. This way? Probably. No, it's not. Hmm. In that case, I'm going to go and have a look in here first. Is this. Aha. It is indeed a dead end. I found a glow stick. Cool. I'm starting to um, run low on glow sticks. Okay. Open! More stairs. Oh. Well done, game. Well done. You, ma you had me expecting something and then didn't make it happen. Bravo. Bravo. That's actually quite refreshing. To have an obvious setup for something happening and then not and then have it not happen. Makes a damn nice change. Not playing to expectations. There are certain other games that could um, benefit from that. One that is definitely set in a sanitarium. Right. No, it's gone again. Yeah, it's gone again. An abandoned sanitarium that's been overrun by the patients. Naming no outlasts. Anybody there? Is there anybody out there? Yes, there is. Oh, there's the sigil thing. I think. Too many flares. What's this then? God, where's the key? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So what is that then? Oh wow, that is cool. That is awesome. 
do. Like I said, I'm not the type to get all, aha, all freaked out and stuff. Oh, it's all like floaty things in the air and things. Sweet. Floaty bear. Okay. Now what? Am I going to have a confrontation with the, the ghost women's? I don't know because the game has frozen on me again. And I'm getting all the sound effects before I see... Ah, there we go. Before I see what's going on. Is this me getting, like, visions of... Yeah. A black veil of sickness, disease and despair, sudden and swift. And I'm guessing this is going to be... What the hell? Okay, that was interesting. Can it be? Just travel through time? No, I haven't traveled through time. You. See who? Okay. Now, now I'm intrigued. Yeah, this is making up for the stupid bloody IV stand. Seriously. I mean, seriously, dude. Okay, where was the sigil? It's this way, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just trying to make sense of... No, it isn't this way, then. I'm just trying to make sense of the map. Um, turn, is it this way? No, that's the room I just came from. So, no. No. Um, I can't get to it now. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can get to it now. Or am I hell? Wait a second. Let me pay attention to the map. Yeah, there we go. Derp! I derped out for a moment there. Got all mixed up. Right, this is the key? Well, freaking out. And we will find out what's behind that after I make a cup of tea, so I'll be right back. Right. Let's see what this is all about then. Ah, disintegration. Hmm. Cool. Get a thing out, you pleb. Right. Ah, now it's saved. Alright, fair enough. So wait, I have to do an entire section at a time? Can't go in, can't open that door. Hmm, fair enough. So I have to do an entire section for it to save save anything. Oh joy. Mid Island Hospital. Attention all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m. the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department and he passed away in transit. In the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks management. This doesn't seem to be working yet. I see, I see. Okay, so that my next my next job is to find the, the power room then I guess. Mid Island Hospital, attention all employees. We understand it's difficult to make it outside of your ten minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We've caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Management. Hint, hint. Hmm. That must be the... Oh. That must be the, um, the records room that they were mentioning, right? What's in here? Nothing! <coughs> so is this the security door that I'm trying to open then? Because it doesn't seem to be... 
There doesn't seem to be anything behind it apart from my death. Uh, it's giving me tuberculosis or something. Oh, cool. Pupules. What's this? I don't like the fact that things glow in the dark, but it kind of makes sense. They've established that her arm isn't glowing at the moment. But now it has to insert report that my first as you fall asleep concerning Miss Daniel's suicide. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, God. Which other instances? What? Is there someone behind you? No. See? Calm down. New Kipling Herald, Mid-Island, Ghosts from the Past, November 12, 1967. Mid-Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, this hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Right, okay. Now I get it. That's why it seems to have done both, is because it has been both at various points in its life. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Kipling citizens accused crimes. 16 year old girl allowed to live, admits guilt, was condemned to hang. Not evil hospital open to deal with spread of disease. Hmm. Why was it dot dot dot? Wouldn't it make more sense to show that parts of it were just missing Stop. and stuff? Stop! Are you gonna keep coming towards me or so not letting me move? Island Hospital Incident Report Profile. <clears throat> Date March 3rd, 1938, concerning patient 90D. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed, Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help and by the time we arrived the patient's face was completely covered in blood and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely use both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Who is this Mercer dude? Hmm. It's a curse, isn't it, in the, the writing? Yeah. Mid-Island Hospital Incident Report File Date March 27, 1931 Containing patient 90D Psychiatrist Ward Report Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after eating meals Diet refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident They spat blood all over and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell Today is my first day observing patient 90D He seemed high strong and ready to snap Except towards Patrice She is oddly special to him Patrice Interesting name. Oh, hello. Foxes and ropes can be moved. With. Okay, move it then. This way. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Ah! Ah, now I get it. Right, gotcha. Where? Earth, did she put that glow stick? If you know what I mean. Damn right, you know what I'm saying, Charmon. Hee hee hee. Check it out. Chick chick the corner. She got the equipment, Charmon. Right. Uh, get the freaky dicks. Get out of the bleeding way. I miss my girlfriend. She's away at the moment. In, um, place with things at the beach with some friends. I mean, it's, it's good. She doesn't go out that much, so it's good, but, you know, I miss her and stuff. Okay. Climb. 
Climb like you have never climbed before, Sarah. Because, well, actually, this is the first time you've climbed. At least as far as I've seen, so. Right, now, the question is, how am I going to get back out? Let's find out. Something gonna come and knock those boxes down, you think? Yeah, there's stuff on the other side of it. Yep. Bigger as much. Does being out of the dark make you feel better? Hmm. Well, Not really. Ah. Uh, okay. So what's on top of it then? Ah, the way out. Okay, fair enough. Is there anything down there? If there is, I might hop back down to get it. No, it doesn't look that way. I wonder if I can just walk straight off the edge. Can I just walk straight off the edge? Dunno. Have I been here already? No, it doesn't look that way. This doesn't look familiar. What's with all the X's? Are they places that couldn't get into, or places I've picked things up. Alright, oh, this is, I have been here then. This is right back at the beginning. That's convenient. Right, what's this gonna do? It is opening that. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Still haven't had a showdown with the shadowy things yet. Which I thought I would have by now. Like I said, that's a good thing. How the hell am I going to get that if these boxes are in the way? Well, my footprint went on top of it somehow. Okay. It is a picture of two women's carrying a patient. For a moment there, I thought the one on the right had a, her skirt flicked up. I was like, oh. Familial, did he say? As in family. I'm Billy. Oh, moths. I wondered what that noise was. <clears throat> uh, those would be when wipe all the patients mm. from blood disease and stuff. Blood. Okay. <laughs> Yay! I was just about to say I was running out of glow sticks. Well, let me open that. And another glow stick. Oh, right, no, it was a flare first. What did I find that? It's empty. That sucks. Oh, well, never mind. In the light again. More moths. All oh, right, no, it's just the flickering of the light that's making that noise. And I thought it was the moths that were making the the noises. George, there's something going on down in the bio room. I keep hearing things moving around down there while I'm cleaning, and I swear it ain't rats. It's something bigger. I don't know what yet, but keep an eye out out when you're down there, Adam. Pills. I thought it was turned into a penitentiary. Why would it have pills? Maybe they need to sedate the. Oh God! What's that? What's what? No, seriously, what's what? Well, that's a telling bone. Mer. 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 No. Inventory full. Didn't we already get this? Inventory full. <sighs> yeah, I, this is just repeating itself. Huh. Uh, except with different things in it, but the... Ah, now we're getting something new. Um, let's go in there, actually. Yeah. Wait, we're back come around full circle. Yeah, we've come around full circle. Ooh, I like the, the fluttering of the, the fab works. Fab works. No, don't get stuck behind another bleeding IV stand. Peeking all over the 
What's that? Ah, it's a mobile. Cool. Anything in it? No? Nope. Anything else in here? No? Hmm. Yeah, I've come back around to where I started. See? Oh no, I've gone past where we started. Right, it's on the other side of that wall. Yeah. What flares? I would start using them. Ah, I would start using them, but I need. It's the glow sticks that give um, thingy webs. History of New Kipling. The citizens of New Kipling began. Begun? Began performing spirit cleansing rituals on the nearby Mid Island in order to keep their own. their town pure from the dark time. Little factual evidence has been discovered about the nature of these rituals, but after the cleansing took place, New Kipling announced that the city had been reborn. It's began, God, not where's begun. The key? I need more glow sticks. Give me a glow stick, come on. Be nice to me, give me a glow stick. Oh. Mid Island Hospital Patient Record File, date August 23rd, 1937, concerning patient 27C. Patient 27C suffers from an obsession with mazes. Compulsive behaviour has driven him to draw mazes all over his cell. Having run out of space, patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze into his own flesh, completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back, forearms, upper arms, and upper thighs, and even parts of the buttocks and genitals. Patient restrained via straitjacket and placed in solitary confinement. Wait! I can't go on like this! Yay! I know about glow sticks, I keep using them! Why is he telling me now? I've used loads already. I keep trying to get more. Come on, give me another glow stick. Yeah! Oh, hello! Oh, hey, women's! Hey! Fine. Oh, it's actually coming towards me finally! Bye! Get away, you! Yeah. There we go. Oh, cool. Missed that as well. What's with all the freaky deking? Oh my god, what was that? Uh oh. Can I use this to. No. Oh, I'm falling glow sticks, though. Um. It gets really freaky when you're running like that, doesn't it? Sweet. Okay, history of New Kipling. The village of New Kipling traces its roots to the mid 1600s. The, uh, the rich fishing source, along with easy access to trade routes, drew early settlers to the village. Ah, there's another one. I thought it was gone already. All right, that. Admittedly, that did catch me by surprise. Any more? No. Okay. That got me for a moment there, I must say. That did actually get me. Mid Island Hospital Incident Report File, date August 13, 1924, concerning patient 60E. Staff responded to screams coming from patient 60E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over, and patient was slashing herself repeatedly with a scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While there was a lot of blood, none of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts, as if she was not really trying to hurt herself, just make a giant mess. Patient 60E has been remanded to her solitary confinement as a danger to herself and others. Dr. Mercer has also now directly taken her on as a patient. Hopefully he will be able to cure her of her inner demons. Right, this Mercer guy, he's involved somehow, isn't he? He knows something. He's part of it. Must be. Mercer has something to do with it. I bet you. Yeah, whatever. History of New Kipling. Once a small fishing village, New Kipling blossomed into a prosperous town full of eager and optimistic people. The town, facing overpopulation and limited resources, looked to other options to sustain its people. Sigil is not here. Sigil is most certainly not here, my good man. Right. 
but he's not in that room. Ugh. Use glow sticks to search much deeper. That's what I have been doing. Oh, hello. Another one of these types of room. Ah! Come here, you. <laughs> 